Hi, Tanjin Duli. I am a jazz pianist, vocalist and composer, band leader as well as an arranger. And um, I've recently released my, well not recently, but... No, totally. <laughs> I've recently released, must I start again? I've recently released my debut jazz album called The Offering, uh, which is been out for about a year now. I wrote the music over about four or five years. I decided that, you know, I've been holding back so long um, and I've actually got a gift to share with the world. So whether I think I'm ready or not, which is what artists always go through, I just decided to put my offering out there. When you're exposed to so much good stuff, you just always wonder if, you're, if what you're doing matches all the other stuff that is going around and I think you second guess yourself because you're not really sure if you're adding any value to what, what's already existing. It is a, a bit of vulnerability but that vulnerability is a bit selfish in a sense. Sorry, I don't know. There's, I think there's a mic that's buzzing funny. Hi, Tanjin Dudley. I'm a What I realized when I was doing a lot of shows is that people would come to me after the shows and they're like, I love that song, I love that song, where can I get it? And you're like, Ish, I don't have an album yet. So the, the fact that there are people that appreciate what you do um, was just very important for me to actually stop thinking about my own issues. <laughs> When I was going through varsity, I was influenced a lot by the more modern sound of jazz, which included a lot of piano with guitar, just to have effects and stuff. The rhythm section that I chose, um, Benjamin Jeffter is a bass player, and he's been playing with me since I started conceptualizing my music when I was still studying. Along the way, I also was playing a lot with Keenan Orens, who's the guitarist on my album. And Spela Lomas Buko, I met him along the way. He had a very great energy and chemistry with, with Benjamin. And I think once you have the right rhythm section, everything else works. Of course, the horn players, Marcus Wyatt, absolutely adds his own color to the music. He's always been known particularly just for his voice as a trumpet player, as well as his song Get on the tenor saxophone and Ntunzi on the alto saxophone. <laughs> You start picking people that you first of all have a great chemistry with and then also musically that you have a great chemistry with. The relationship with jazz I think subconsciously was the parents. I didn't actually realize that I was listening to jazz when I grew up. And of course, there's always that neighbor who on every Sunday, he blasts his music and it's like sounds of trumpets and saxophones. So that definitely did play a part. The most instrumental influence in terms of me deciding to go the jazz route was when I met this guy who was improvising and I had a, a classical background. So improvising was just like, how do you do that? I always used to read music off scores and when I saw someone just playing and I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm improvising. I was like, how would you do that? And he told me a bit about jazz. Then that jazz thing comes back and only then do you realize, oh, I've actually been listening to this stuff my whole life. The next song we're going to play is a song that uh, I've dedicated to my grandmother and it's called HT. I used to call her HT. And that was the last song I wrote before actually recording the album. I wrote that song three weeks before she passed away and it was just like um, a dedication to her. I think when I wrote it, because my grandmother had dementia and I actually realized that it had been a long time since she actually related to me as me <laughs> and not like an ex-school teacher or something. But um, I think it was just sort of, I think I was feeling a little bit nostalgic in terms of the relationship I used to have with her and 
yeah, I wrote the song and three weeks later she passed on. But that was a very special song for me. There's 201 AA, again also a dedication to my parents. Um, a celebration, a little bit less sad than HT. Mm -hmm.